I want to take a few minutes and talk about Juno Network real quick. I talked about Juno since the beginning and I have an entire playlist on this. First, let's look at Bitcoin sitting at $17,425 while Juno sitting at $1.14. The price action on Juno is pretty nasty. It's very brutal compared to the rest of the tokens in the ecosystem. Why? Because Juno has been giving out free dineros to projects that ask for it, which is not so cool. Ladies and gents, remember I talked about Cosmos drama and I also said I'm going to talk about it once in a while. There's another YouTuber who covers Cosmos and all the drama, pretty much, Don Nungriptonium. He's often controversial and sarcastic, but also right. And we share similar views. I don't agree with every single thing he says, but we share similar views. And recently he talked about Loop Finance being a rug pull on Juno basically draining all the funds. Loop Finance migrated from Terra Network. I was on Terra. Matter of fact, I was also on Loop. I played with Loop with a few hundred dollars and it was bad, bad experience. But if you look at the whole price action and if I look at it right now, after what they have done in Juno Network, I can obviously understand what's happening, all right? So Loop Finance, without even going nasty of them, is not a good project, okay? And um, didn't have a good experience on Terra Network. So they migrated over to Juno Network. They asked for Grunt. Okay, I don't want to get into the nitty gritty right now, all the details. I'm just going to run down into whatever I see and maybe play this one minute clip. So Don Kryptonium, he covers it and he literally made sense, which is about open source infrastructure, funding open source infrastructure, fund only open source infrastructure. So I'm going to cover this again down the road. I just wanted to give you my two cents real quick on what's happening on Juno Network. Because if you look at other tokens in the Cosmos ecosystem, they are not extremely bad, of course, not performing as much they should. But look at Jekyll, look at some of the other tokens, right? Imos is recovering to some extent. Atom is doing decent. But Juno literally is shitting bricks. So we need to address this. If Juno wants to see a bright future, we need to address this. Without wasting time, let's end this with playing this one minute clip. Juno, they're active on Twitter, which is amazing. But that's not going to do the game. That's not going to work. They have to actually do the right thing. They have the community calls every once in a while. Like I said, they're pretty decent on social media. But when it comes to product development and stuff, not so good. All right. Which I'm going to cover again down the road. Let's play this clip and end this. One gives, there's been a lot of sort of like concern around that. But especially with Strange Love, the infrastructure that we build supports White Whale and enables them to build their cross chain smart contracting platform. And if we as a chain can continue to invest in this open source infrastructure, it gives us the legitimacy to claim to be the home of Cosmosm, to be the home of Dow tooling within Cosmos. And the only way we do that is through hard investments in the the sort of fundamental tooling that enables this to happen. You know, the app developers who build on top of Juno want easy experiences. They want... Uh, you mean like loop finance? No, they don't deserve any easy access. Um, you know, it's standard deployments and all of those things. In order to provide those, we need to, as a community, invest in the fundamental infrastructure that underlies Juno. We were able to create Juno as it is now because there was a ton of work that we were able to take in the open source and just deploy. And... As Cosmos has grown, the core teams that are supported by the hub primarily um, have not sort of kept up and continued to ship some key features, especially around IBC and Cosm Wasm. Uh, and Juno has ended up being the funding for that almost entirely. And, you know, we as like this goes back to the sub DAO, uh, the sauce DAO and communications DAO thing, too. The communications DAO needs to market to those developers. It needs to tell this narrative around how Juno is unique, what we bring, and how it's unique. Because it really, truly is. Awesome. It's unique. I get it. Back then, there were a lot of drama with the Juno whale and all this um, Proposal 69, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Juno is a legitimate home of Cosmos. I don't disagree on the importance of funding open source infrastructure. But we have to address this. Beginning of a new era, 2000. 23. Ladies and gents, let me know what do you think about Juno. Juno upgrade will be the biggest yet. This was recent, Jan 8. 50% of fees split with contract devs. Native tokens. Defy Oracle price feed. Gov set minimum fees. Host plus controller. Fossum version 0.3. IBC version 4. IBC routing. What's your take on Juno? What do you think about what's happening? Because I plan on covering it, of course, because I covered it since the beginning and I like to document stuff. A third person view from you people all right so let me know what you think in the comments and i'll see you in the next video